Artificial intelligence is taking off in the airline industry and it's growing. The goal is to improve safety, efficiency. For the aviation sector, AI's ability to process vast amounts of data quickly and accurately is invaluable. Recently, Delta Airlines announced it plans on scaling its use of AI to expand dynamic pricing. The use of AI in the global airline industry is only growing. KLM Royal Dutch Airlines chatbot uses AI to provide booking assistance and flight information. United Airlines uses it to communicate with passengers about cancellations and delays. American Airlines started using it to predict which passengers might miss their flights. If you want information on changing your flight, if you want information um, on changing your seats, it's likely going to be AI responding to you. Matt Britton, author of Generation AI, says we're beginning to see the next phase of airlines adopting artificial intelligence. Airlines use dynamic pricing to constantly reprice fares based on market conditions. I think why consumers particularly have a problem with some of the recent news is it's not based upon their IP address. It's actually based more upon them as an individual. So I think it calls into question a lot of consumer privacy issues. One of the first major airlines entering this new space is Delta. About 3% of Delta's domestic ticket prices are already determined by AI, with plans to raise that to 20% by year's end, according to the airline's president. As airlines adopt this model, travel writer Gary Leff says it will lead to more personalized pricing. AI offers a tremendous uh, ability to further segment customers based on what you know they know about those customers. They're not at this place yet, according to Delta, of actually taking specific information about individuals and putting that into pricing. Experts tell me they believe more airlines will begin deploying AI for dynamic pricing. For people looking to book travel and find mainstream pricing, one good option is to use incognito mode in your browser, whether you're using Google or Safari. And